It's Sunday, my dudes. What is going on, squad fam? I've got a little bit of a stuffy nose today. I think I've got a cold. But sickness cannot keep sick mate down. It's literally in the name. Today, we are going to persevere and finally get round to the much anticipated sick fits. Now, last week, I set the theme of Vans shoes. So you know what we had to do. We picked the top five. We've got plenty of honorable mentions locked in the chamber, ready to go. And if you're sitting there like, holy <laughs> This is an awesome idea. How do I get my picture in a sick fits video? Well, my guy, I've got the key to your success right here. If you want to submit into sick fits, all you have to do is submit your picture to sickfits at outlook.com. Give me a high quality picture of your outfit, one where you're standing up so I can see all the details in the fit. Give me your Instagram handle and some details of your outfit, like what t-shirt, trousers, shoes are you wearing, that kind of thing. Press the send button and it is that easy. Internet fame is literally seconds away. But wait, there's more. If you can't wait for the next sick fits because these don't really have a schedule to them at the moment and you wanna get your fix, follow the sick fits Instagram page. I set it up a little while ago. We've just hit 2,000 followers on there, so a big massive big up to you guys. You can submit to that Instagram page as well. All you have to do is tag sick fits in your pictures and I'll see them. Back to the matter at hand. I asked you guys about Vans, so without further ado, let's jump into the first outfit of the day. So the first outfit of the day is brought to us by Sick Fits veteran Ms. Knees. Ms. Kneezy, I think we had this problem before. And my man is wearing an old polo shirt from his dad, khaki shorts from the thrift store, and the classic Vans old school. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit, power stance. If you're in the school cafeteria, there's one slice of pizza left. You're next to get served and this guy pushes in front of you and takes that pizza. What do you do? A very, very powerful stance indeed, but in all seriousness, why did I pick this outfit? Firstly, I really like this vintage style combination of just a polo shirt and some khaki shorts. Old school bands to top it all off. This isn't like a hype outfit or anything. It's just a really nice, clean, subtle combination. It's very street ready. It's neutral. You can pretty much go anywhere with it unless it's like Antarctica then you'll be severely underdressed but that's not the point this is definitely a summer appropriate outfit you can never go wrong with a polo shirt and a pair of shorts color combination black khaki white they don't interfere with each other whatsoever the old school vans here just doing their thing and being non-interfering there's nothing really to show off in this outfit it's just a what you see is what you get type thing but that's why I like it it's super clean just a classic look in general and a lot of people might be sitting there like, oh, but that's not hype. This post doesn't contain Rick Owens or Raph Simmons. Dead outfit, zero out of 10. I don't know why they're robots. But the point here is I like this outfit because it's less flex and more function. It's a classic look and I like what my guy's done with this whole aesthetic. He's given it a little bit of a meme pose as well, giving it a bit of character to somewhat of a safe outfit. I don't know, I just liked it. Thank you for sending in your fit. Let's move on to the next outfit of the day. Gang signs. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by a man like Timothy. And my man is wearing a punk band t-shirt, custom trousers, a thrifted comic strip belt, some unbranded chains, and the band skate high. Let's talk about this outfit. The first thing that I like about this outfit is the whole graphic t-shirt, loud trousers combination. I think it works really, really well. I think this outfit has somewhat of a low-key punk slash e-boy type style. And you can just tell that a lot of personal style has been infused in this outfit. In my opinion, this is unapologetically his style by all means. I love the idea of mixing the combination of loud with loud. I think the design is really chaotic in itself. Everything is loud, it's all over the place. It's been Big hair, big graphic, loads of splats on the trousers. It's all there with a very much of a don't care anarchy type attitude behind it. You've got the chains and the rings there as well. Just all adding to this combination. And I'm a really big fan of this look. A very niche outfit that you won't see a lot of people wearing. When I do look at this outfit, it does scream punk slash e-boy. Those are just my observations through personal experience. Feel free to disagree in the comments. You've got the Vans skate highs here as well. A shoe that I definitely think fits with 
the aesthetics of this whole outfit in general. Bands has been associated with a lot of different styles and a lot of different scenes. Here I could associate Vans with the whole skaters punk aesthetic. But again, Vans are a really versatile type of shoes adopted by many pockets of fashion. But this outfit definitely works. I really like what my guy's done here. A very litty outfit indeed. So thank you for sending in your fit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by another Timothy and my man is wearing a Uniqlo oversized t-shirt, Uniqlo ankle trousers and the Vans slip-on checkerboards. Let's talk about this outfit. So I picked this entry for a number of reasons. I liked it because it's super stripped back back to basics everyday wear t-shirt and trousers simple combination and it's weird because a lot of people would take issue with that and they'll be like oh it's just jeans and a t-shirt i could have done that so the question is why did this t-shirt and trousers combination stand out from all the rest what a lot of people don't realize is that hair makes a big difference it sets the tones in certain outfits all the subtle details in an outfit make the big picture so the hair and glasses combination is in itself a sick off look that whole combination is something that I would definitely imagine like a young Leonardo DiCaprio or a young Johnny Depp rock. Paired that with the oversized t-shirt and the slim trousers and you've got yourself a classic vintage look. The accessories game is also on point. I don't know if you can see in the picture here, but if you look really closely, you can see some rings and a watch. Just little things that add to the character of this outfit. The trousers here are doing bits as well. They cut off at the ankle, so you can show off those clean white cotton socks. And the checkerboard slip-ons. And the checkerboard slip-ons, a very underrated shoe. And I just like the entire ensemble as a whole. I like the whole, it's got a vintage tone to it, but at the same time, I like how it's like baggy boys for life, but also it's got a little bit of form as well. The color combination is really simple, but effective as well. Green, black, it just reminds me of mother nature herself. Of course, you've got all the plants in the background as well, so it all just kind of reinforces that look. It is the very definition of not trying too hard. Some people might even argue that it's not trying hard enough. Thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by Eden Vabe and my guy is wearing a purple fire sweater bought from an online shop, trousers from Springfield and the old school bands with green laces. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit is the whole aesthetic of it. Flame jumpers have just become an overnight trend that a lot of people are jumping on and I say more power to it. I did try this out myself. I think literally the exact same jumper. Now you can find these flame jumpers from pretty much every Chinese Instagram store. The actual jumper itself is flames. Haha, <laughs> see what he did there? I like what my guy done here. Tuck it into a pair of trousers, slap on the vans, put on some green there as well. Purple, black, green, they all contrast each other, but they all make each other stand out. I like the whole aesthetic of it. Again, I think it's borderline like entry level e-boy, but I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying it in actually quite an endearing way because e-boy is an aesthetic at the moment. It's so big. I liked what my guy did, especially with his vans. They're a pair of old schools, but he put green laces in them. Colored laces in general can make or break an outfit in my opinion. But these laces seem to have been the right decision to make. I just love how they make the shoe stand out. But at the same time, that green does mix well with the purple. It's a very interesting outfit, a very trendy outfit. I like how it all falls as well. I think there's a very nice balance in the silhouette. My guy done an excellent job here. So thank you for sending in your outfit. And before before we move on to the last outfit of the day, I just want to throw in the honorable mentions. Of course, we pick the top five in no particular order, but loads and loads of you email sickfits at outlook.com every single day. And I just want to give you guys a big massive shout out. You guys are the real content creators here. Now enough brown nosing, here are the honorable mentions. <laughs>
And those were the honourable mentions, my dudes. Moving on to the last outfit of the day. So the last outfit of the day is brought to us by a man like Kian. And my man is wearing a black t-shirt from Collision, a thrifted red quarter zipper, next cropped black jeans, and the Alix Studio cross band skate highs. Let's talk about this outfit. Fam, have I got a bias for e-boy outfits? Okay, so the first thing that I like about this outfit, the first thing that I actually saw when looking at this picture was all of the accessories. I loved the whole necklace and ring combination. I loved the quarter zip up and how it just all falls naturally in there. I love the rips on the jeans and how the shoes reflect. It's plain and simple. If you want to impress me, just get your details down to a T. I also like the red and black combination. I think it goes down well really nicely. Getting the right kind of red in an outfit can be a little bit of a myth. But I think this shade of red is perfect for this outfit. It's not too in your face and it's not too dull. It's nice right in the middle, sets the tone. I love the fact that it's a zip up as well. I don't see a lot of people bust out the zip ups, but my guy has maximized what he's got here. Unzipped it a little bit. Oh look, I've got some chains under here as well. Like, I don't know why I did that for, but it's man. It just works really well together. I like the whole punk aesthetic to it. The ripped jeans, the sharp edges in the necklace, just rings in general. They all have a very similar aesthetic to them my guy has done absolute bits here i love the trousers personally i don't think i could wear like ripped trousers or distressed trousers but i really respect people who do and of course the vans they're super sick i love how they just naturally sit in this outfit all in all a very very nice outfit indeed my guy has done an excellent job creating his aesthetic. So thank you for sending in your outfit. And that was the last outfit of the day. Again, I just want to give a big massive shout out to everyone who submitted into Sick Fits. I've put a little poll card in the video as well so you can vote for who you thought the best entry was. And if you want to show them even more support, if you want to create a discussion, then leave who you think was the best outfit in the comment section down below. If you want any more information on the top five, I will be leaving all of the information in the description. And for anything else, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I do read every single one, so just let me know what you're saying well that is all well and good big man i appreciate you've done today's video but when's the next sick fits what's the next theme for sick fits and i have the privilege to tell you that the next theme for sick fits is nothing there is no theme for next week it's open season there are no rules we are bringing it back classic sick fits if you like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike if you like what i do here and you want to support the channel then consider pressing the subscribe button and the little bell icon as well if you want to get sometimes notified when i upload a new video thank you for watching my video i will see you in the next one haha <laughs> that's a classic youtuber thing to say bye